Well, hello there, and welcome back to the NASCAR Thunder 2004 career mode. So, if you missed last video, make sure you go check that out real quick, because I don't want to spoil this for you. So, so the, the short version of it is, we won our first ever career race. Uh, some shenanigans sort of kind of happened. We won Sonoma, and we turned into Dale Jr. So now we run as his butch car for, like, 18 races, so pretty much the rest of the season. Yeah, it's weird, man. This is weird. I also think it kind of messed up. So we'll, 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 so yeah, this is it. So this is our new sponsor, right? So we got, um, we got an offer from Ritz. Now we also had Windcraft and we had somebody else, and I can't remember who it was. But yeah, so obviously, you know, I went for the money, right? 73000 per race. That's crazy. 292000 bonus. Nearly $300,000 bonus. But here, here's, here's the catch. So not only do we have to finish top 30, we got to qualify top 30, and we got to rank 30th in points. The biggest problem here is it's definitely probably going to take us a good couple races, and they have to be really good races for us to finish top 30 in points. We're not in the top 30 in points, and as it stands now, we're not too terribly close, so we have to string off a good bunch of races to get to the top 30. And if we don't run very well, you know, we're only going to get 73000 some from the sponsors. Like, we don't have all those other sponsors to to help give me money. So, once again, going down the road, if we don't perform very well, we don't get that bonus, there's a good chance we start losing money. So, looking back at it, this probably wasn't the best decision. But, if we, if we do get lucky and we manage to get up in the top 30 in points and we just have a race or two where we do qualify top 30 and finish top 30... Holy shit, man! Three hundred thousand dollar bonus. That would be, uh, that would that would turn our program around overnight. I look at the garage here, though. Uh, we got three races left. We're finally gonna have four different, uh, four different chassis here. Uh, we've got two races left on an engine repair, and we still have solid engine engine power left. Uh, we have two races left on a body build, so uh, we're looking pretty solid com solid component wise. Probably the best we've ever looked here. But yeah, you can't change the paint scheme or whatever. So yeah, you just uh I don't know. I I my guess would be it's like a like a sponsored thing. Like you sign up for Ritz, you have to run this, I guess. Well, obviously, but I don't know. I guess you you know with with uh when it comes to sponsorship, you have to uh you have to run the number 8 car, which is uh kind of dumb. So I guess there's going to be just two number 8s. <laughs> so I I don't know. We're basically going to be uh you know the direct TV cable commercials. You know, we'll have, uh, well, we'll give you a look at the points. This will make uh, make a lot more sense. Dale Jr., your points leader. Here is DirecTV, uh, Dale Earnhardt Jr. And we're going to scroll down here to us in 37th. Uh, and I'm uh, Cable, Dale Earnhardt Jr. It's, uh, it's a pretty close points battle all the way up to, like, 35th. But uh, here's 30th. So Joe Nemechek, this is where we want to be. Uh, 1,300 points. Uh, we're at, uh, you know, 1,035, so... Uh, we're, we're about 300 behind. Now, that's definitely uh, quite a number of races, and we got to run pretty well. The good thing is, I guess, well, we've got 18 races to figure out how to get a couple of those bonuses and get up in the top 30, so it's definitely doable, for sure. But, uh, oh, man, it's, uh, it's going to be tough. Oh, you know what? They changed my team name, too. I didn't notice that. Chance 2? What the hell does that even mean? Look at this, our trophy room is not empty anymore. This is actually the first time I believe I've showed you this on the career mode. Because obviously, I haven't been able to show you anything. So, how about this, man? Yeah, the rest of it's empty. But we finally got an actual, like, trophy in here, which is pretty damn cool. Where'd it go? There it is. So, yeah, you can, like, look at it and everything. I love this, man. Simple little thing. I would love to have this in NASCAR, like, in the NASCAR Heat game, since they have all the licensed trophies. So... So now we go into Daytona. We've got 56,000 in the bank. Hopefully we can get a solid run here. So, um, yeah, so I thought about this a little bit. We're not going to bring this chassis. The tire grip's not going to do much for us at Daytona. And it's it's already at 50 tire wear. So uh, we're going to take the most dura uh, durable chassis we've got. Engine. we got to have the most power, obviously. And the body. Ah, man. Hopefully, usually we we're pretty good to not tear it up at Daytona, so uh, still only 59 power. I think the drafting is going to help a little bit, 53 drafting, so we're going to go with that. Obviously, we'll lose a little bit of downforce, but uh, 
Hopefully it won't be too bad at the end of the day. I think that'll help out for sure. All right, so we're going out here to qualify. Honestly, I have no idea how much speed it has in it. I usually just don't practice. I just hop into qualifying, get the setup in, and um, go after it. So, yeah. I'm going to hope for the best. Maybe I'll get a little extra boost power bonus since I'm running a Dale Jr. car at Daytona. I don't know. <laughs> That'd be nice for sure. But, yeah, I definitely think um, we'll definitely have more speed than what we had in February with the – uh, definitely a, a scotch more engine power, so. They already hit 180 down the back stretch. 181. Do I hear 182? Uh, not quite. I think when here, we were here in February and we were only running like 177 at the end of the straightaways. We're doing that in the corners. 178, oh hell yeah. So I think we'll be a little bit more sporty. I think. Yeah, here we go. Here's the money lap. 181. 182, oh hell yeah. I gotta be smooth around the bottom. Oh boy, a lot of apron there. Definitely could have got through there more smooth and less on the apron. Hopefully we don't start last. I guess the higher we start, the better, honestly, so I can just block the lanes and do whatever, but I don't know, I wouldn't be surprised if we end up like 39th. Ooh, slid up a lot there. Right, but we stuck it through turn four, so we'll see. What we got here. Come on, car. Need every little bit. Short way around. That doesn't sound promising. Twenty nine. <laughs> oh, hey, that's not bad. Okay. Um. It's super speedway action under the lights. MRN is live at the Daytona International Speedway this evening with flag-to-flag -flag coverage of the Pepsi 400. To win a race is something pretty special at any track. But to win here at Daytona, you're that much closer to becoming a legend in the sport. There's no doubt about it. A lot of these NASCAR and Winston Cup drivers will tell you that it's really no different winning here than anywhere else. But those are the guys who haven't done it yet. Once their name is in the history books here, I guarantee you they'll change their mind. In 1993, Bobby Labonte finished second to Jeff Gordon in the Rookie of the Year battle. You know, that's a pretty good rookie class. At first, Gordon's accomplishments overshadowed Bobby's, but Labonte had been a solid contender for the title in each of the last few years. Hermie Sadler really needs a good finish in this race. He's got a long way to go on the points list. Yeah, those guys have been working so hard this year. It's a shame it doesn't really show in points. Just seems they can't keep that car out of trouble on race day. Maybe their luck will change today. The 8 car is butting heads on the racetrack with the 88 car. You know, a little contact now and then. RFP the expected. winning draft car, the man. Gets crowded real quickly when Gone but never forgotten. Cars out there. I wouldn't be too worried about it. Okie dokie. Here we go. Jeff well, Gordon. Is that Robbie Gordon on, on the outside front row? Yeah, it is. And yeah, Bobby up in there. Kevin Harvick. Let's get it. Starting on the bottom. Lord help me. I hope we uh, hope we've got a little bit of speed in it. Enough speed that maybe we can uh, work and do some sort of something. Oh, oops, sorry, Bill. Sorry, I was under the impression you were going to stay up on that high side and you know I could draft off of Hermie. Oh, there's my man Mike. Oh man, I already feel like we're slow. Come on, Sterling. Give me a push, man. We gotta get up to speed. What? If I, man, if I can get up to speed, I think we'll be okay. Yeah, I'd hop around me too, Sterling. Come on, Mike. Come on, Mike. You need to step on the gas, Mike. Oh man, we're already falling back to 32nd. Oh, and it's tight. Oh, it's tight. Okay, well. We don't have a lot of great help behind us. And they usually pull... Oh, well, that didn't sound good. They usually pull me out of four. They didn't really do it that time. Oh, watch out, Mike. Watch out, Mike. Carlo. Damn. Okay, I don't know why I started checking up there. Take it. Well, shit. I think this is, uh, I think this is where I lose it. 185, man. That's pretty strong, but I think this is where I lose the draft. 
Oh man, come on guys, come back. I'm sorry. Well, 31st. I mean, I can live with that. Once again, you know, I, I'd love to run first every race, but you know, if we, all I can ask for is really that we run top 30. About. That's what we're aiming for in points. Obviously, it'd definitely be a lot more beneficial if we could run better than 30th. Um, but, uh, yeah, sorry, Mike. I'm, uh, I'm going to need to block that. Oh, shit. I ain't going to lie. I about turned down and killed Greg. Yeah, all right. All right, Greg. I'm going to try not to lose this draft here. Oh, there we go. We're sucking good. Oh, we just pulled right the hell away from that group behind us. Oh, man, this thing is tight. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're sucking right back in here. Man, Biffle's quick. Look at that, 189. Damn. Okay. Oh, we're going to lose him right here, I bet. We checked up and lost my momentum. Oh, come on, pull him back in. We were drafting really good there for a minute. It's just tough, man. Our drafting sucks. And we don't have a lot of speed as it is, so... Oh, somebody's blowing up, yeah! Oh, poor Ricky Rudd. Remember when Ricky Rudd was like fourth in points? And was like, won a race or two? Good times, man. Rip. Big time rip. Man, look at this shit. We're actually like keeping up with Greg Biffle. Now we got Ash and Lewis behind. Oh, I like this, man. 188. Hell yeah. But we're not totally slow. Shout out to Greg Biffle for helping us up through here. This is nice. If I could do this, man, save a lot of fuel doing this, save a lot of time doing this, and we can run two tires when we got a pit, this is nice. Man, best friends of Greg. Hell yeah. My man, the Biff. Plus, power rate to be 50. That's nice. Good old Biff. Who doesn't love Greg Biffle? Oh, please don't fall off. Oh, he's sucking that draft now. He's going to pull right the hell away from me. No, come on back, Greg. Damn it, I think I'm going to lose him now. He got he got in that draft to just pull right the hell away from me. Good God. Must be nice. Just like that, I fell back to this group again. I was actually sort of kind of pulling away. Come on, Greg. We're like best friends now. Come back and, and draft with me again. I guess Greg found a new best friend up there. I don't know who that is. I can't really tell. I'd like to see him but stay back there. It was fun. It definitely it definitely helped us gain a good bit of time. Oh, man. Luke was creeping up there on that inside line. Christian Fittipaldi, former best friend in NASCAR Winston Cup Series. All right, Terry. Let's see what you got, buddy. Try to, geez. They just pull right the hell away. Once again, it must be nice. We're sucking up. You know, we're sucking up pretty good, I gotta say. I'm glad we went with that body. Because it definitely. Oh, shit. It definitely seems like we suck a lot better. Oh, that sucks. Damn it, they keep on getting organized and then pulling, pulling away from me. Oh, that sucks. The left sides are wearing. Damn. They're going like three wide up there nearly. Oh, here we go. I think we might be pulling them back. That's a damn shame we can't keep up with Mike Skinner at a damn play track. Man, I don't know. I want to know who the hell the leader is. It looks like he's all there up there by himself. That blue dot on the mini map. My gosh. Look at that. Look at the lead he's got on everybody else behind him. That's incredible. Right, I'm probably gonna be pitting next time by, so it looks like it's about a 15, 16 lap fuel run. So uh, we'll be able to. Ooh, shit! Sorry. Clear. We'll be able to get to lap 30, so it's gonna look like about a around a 10 lap run, final run. So in that case, uh, I'll probably just like short pit take no tires or whatever or take enough fuel I don't I don't know what I'll do I'll do something but yeah we'll be able to pull something there I don't know the tire wear doesn't seem to be very good I wish or a certain chassis was a little bit better tire wear wise because uh, I think they're worn all the way around yeah they are 
but to hell with it. I'm still taking right sides. So, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and pit now since everybody else is on pit road here. I'm going to go ahead and bring it on in. Try not to slide the tires. There you go. Fuel tank almost empty. Oh boy, that's not speed. Here we go. Alright, we're gonna take right sides, no damage. Full tank. Um Yeah, that ought to do it. No dick ups, crew, no dick ups. Easy in, easy out. It's definitely gonna be a big stop here, hopefully. Hopefully we can take some you know, gain some time on these guys. Wow, our tires went through a pit box. Oh, here we go. There's Ken Schrader. Um, wow, okay. We didn't really gain much time at all. There's Mike Skinner right behind me. All right, cool. Oh, hey, Matt Kansas. Uh, how we came out in front of him, but he checked up for me, so appreciate it. Come on, Matt. Let's break away from this, this group of cars back here. Yeah, I guess Mike Skinner was in front of me, huh? He wasn't. He actually broke away, so. Yeah, okay. I, so I, I gained some time. I'm not too upset about that. Yeah, for a minute there, I thought he was in that group there that was running behind us when I pit. I forgot he broke away a good bit, so. Yeah, we saved some time, I think. Yeah, it appears that way. Shout out to Matt Kenseth for giving me, giving me a little bit of draft. Now we see where we cycle here. Take me take a couple laps for everything to get back normal, but... So we got Ken Schrader up in here. That Skinner group will catch me. Here's who I was racing with right there. It's up to 33rd. and Yeah, we ought to have a pretty solid advantage on those guys for a while. Until they probably catch me at some point. But Man, if I can catch some guys up here and share some drafts, that'd be big. I think I'm going to get to lock on one of these guys right here. I don't know who this is. Hello there. Would you like to... Work together. Oh man, I don't think I'm gonna have enough oomph to catch him. Damn it. Alright, now these scrubs caught me. Ashton Lewis, Mike Skinner. They're definitely quicker than I am. It's kind of embarrassing, but it is what it is. At least these guys did catch me, though. I'm not running by myself. I'm definitely a lot slower when I am by myself. Yeah, I'm <laughs> blocking Ashton Lewis's. Shit all up and down the track. Oh man. He's a rival too. He doesn't seem to be too pissed off. He hasn't tried to dump me yet. Oh man, this thing's kinda getting getting a little floaty. I sure hope my left sides hang on. It's okay, we're not too far away from our pit window, so as soon as we hit it, I'll come down and take left sides. Left sides and fuel full fuel. I'm not hundred percent sure. Probably around a little past lap 25, so our left front's gonna have to hold on that long. Sad thing is we've got a, you know, a while to the next group, and those back markers are catching me back there. But you know, if we keep on running this pace and we don't give up too much time, I think we ought to be good to finish 31st. And you know what? I'm okay with that. Obviously, I'd like to run faster, but we just really don't have the engine power to do so. Ooh, boy, I about put it in the wall. That thing floated, man. Ooh, that thing floated. Oh, yeah, we got cars on pit road. All right. Well, there you have it. Oh, man, do I be a dirtbag. Those guys are going to be going a lap down. Oh, man, I can do it. I can do it, but I really shouldn't do it. I'm not going to do it. I really want to, but I'm not going to do it. Ashton Lewis could do it. I wouldn't be too upset with that. shit. Be too upset with that. Yeah, share some drafts. So those guys are coming in. I'm gonna be pitting like uh, probably next time by. Oh boy, both the left sides are red. All right, yeah, I'm gonna be pitting this time. I think it's 100% uh, I can make it from here. So yeah, both the right sides are warm. We're only gonna be taking left sides. So um, yeah, we're losing time to Ashton Lewis, but. I think it's okay with the car. too clear. bad. Yeah, it's it's just slow, man. As time goes on, it gets slow. Slower than what it already is, unfortunately. All right, all right yeah, big time pits right here. Big time pit stop. Let's get it. 
Oh, man. I wouldn't have been upset if they crashed that. Alright, can't speed. Whoa, that thing a little floaty. Alright, left sides. Uh, no damage. Yeah, full tank. Just to be safe. So, this shouldn't take too terribly, too terribly long. Alright, boys. Can't mess it up. There you go, that's easy. Alright, seven, eight, nine, let's go. We gone. Okay. 39th. Oh, that ain't too bad. I'm pulling up. Oh, man, I hope they don't page me. I hope I don't page them. Oh, boy, they're quick. Whoa, fuck. Uh, nice breaks, Jimmy. Appreciate you for not hitting me. Oh, God, that was scary. I thought he was going to do it. Oh, I about, I, about, I about done did it. Kevin LePage retired. I about uh, honored him here at the 2004 Pepsi 400. Oh, boy. We got a nice little group here. It is definitely going to help. Once again, I came out of the pits and immediately got draft help, so that's pretty big there. So, yeah, we should cycle back. My guess would be, what were we running? Like, right there around 30th, so I think we're going to be good to finish there. I hope. I really hope. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, we're getting spots. Steve Park? Sweet. Oh, fuck, I'm right front. I already hit red. Yeah, that's a little concerning. There's Ashton Lewis. Hell yeah. Oh, boy. You get loose. I guess I'll uh, help out my man Greg. Hell yeah, plus 52. Man, I really hope my right front stays on there. I guess I'll at least be a lap down, so. That'll save me an extra lap. Oh, hell yeah. 34th. I like it. We came out way ahead of those guys, so. As long as my right front holds on, I think we'll be okay. Man, there should be another couple of spots here, I think. Let's see, there's Jack. Yep, 32nd. And I don't think we're going to get any more. I might get one or two more. I don't know who this is. Uh, and who is this, Jerry? Yep. Okay, cool. So now we're just going to have to block. I hope the right front stays on there. Oh, fuck. That damn right front, man. Well, there goes the spot. Well, I'm ready for this thing to finish. There you go. There's another spot. Sand Barrett. Alright. And we should get a second one up here coming off turn two. Oh, boy. Yeah, we could have finished like 29th, I think. I don't know. We're not done yet. Oh, here's Mikey. He's not for his position, is he? No. Damn, we're going to have to mirror drive the whole rest of this race. There's a couple more coming out of pit road. Yeah, there's, uh, we're about to go another lap down here, so that's going to get us closer. Closer to the finish. Ooh, no, 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 no. Oh, oopsies. Okay, now he's pissed. Sorry, I didn't want to, didn't, didn't really want to give that one up. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Shouldn't have done that. I hope these guys weren't for position because I'm not going to get them now. Oh, they were. Yeah, go figure. All right, let's see here. Oh, man, this is tough. All right, Jack Sprague is the next guy. The leaders are going to be closing here. Man, I hope uh, hope they put us a lap down. Keep an eye on your mirror. One way or another. I'm so concerned about these right. Oh, no, that's Jack catching us. Of course it is. Go figure. I really hope these right sides don't blow out. That right front has been red for... Quite a while. And now uh, Jack has caught us a lot. Yeah, every spot matters, man. Need the points. We need the money. God, this thing is tight and loose. We don't want him getting the it, is, uh, it is a whole bunch of everything. It's We're like drifting coming out of turn four. Oh, uh, oh Mark got loose, kind of kind of loose out of four. Oh, hell yeah. Oh man. Yeah, I guess we gotta do an extra one, huh? That figures. Yeah, I could have just gone a lap down. Watch, I'm gonna blow a uh, tire on the last lap now just because of that. 
Now I'm gonna pull up in front of this instead. Best place for him is in your rear view oh mirror. shit. Can we still go a lap down? And uh, I guess Michael Waltrip is the leader. To hell, I don't want to let him by and then everybody else freight train me on the bottom. So. Is about to lap you. Maybe he'll hit hit the, the line and then the 15 car dick up everybody here. Just like slow down. Still there. Be patient. Oh, okay. We might be able to end it here then. Keep yes? You if you can. There you go. Okay, well that works. Oh, thank the Lord. I was afraid I was going to do something stupid and lose all my spots. But 31st! Yeah! That's a, a pretty good run for us. Free race. You know, that's pretty amazing. Oh, boy. A lot about the quality and true talent of these we could have finished better, man. We could have finished better. The Nabisco Chevrolet. The really Nabisco Chevrolet. Job, keeping his car away from trouble all race long. And the best had a no shit moment there with Ashton, but... That's pretty good, man. I would have liked to finish a little bit better. Top 30, but 31st ain't bad. The eight car may have gained some respect from the sixteen car. Yeah, he did. Golden rule. Well, it applies in NASCAR. Alrighty, yeah. Then Ash Lewis. Well, maybe Bobby Labonte, but uh, yeah, everybody's kind of cooled off. And we're friends with Greg Biffle, so that's nice. All right, let's see. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. Uh, 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 oh, that's tough. That is tough. So, we only gained four thousand dollars. I, I'm, that's really concerning. I'm not going to lie with you because there's a good chance that we'd totally fuck the rest of our season by taking that sponsor if I don't get in the top 30 in points. There's a good chance. Because only 73,000 73, from the sponsors. I mean, obviously, I could hire cheaper guys. My pit crew is already as cheap as it's going to get by maybe like 1,000 or so. I could make the builders, I could I could fire them and get cheaper builders, but... That's not going to make it much better either. So, yeah, I'm glad we finished where we did. We still gained money, but, like, oh, boy, the pressure is on. So, Michael Waltrip won. Mark Martin second. Oh, poor Mark Martin coming in P2. Um, look at the rest of it here in top 10. Uh, Joe Nemechek finished, uh, no. Yeah, yeah, he did. There he is. Eighth. Well, that's not good. We lost uh, a lot of points to him. Yeah, let's see here. So Ricky Rudd, Johnny Benson had issues. Finished better than Kevin Grubb, Skinner, Fittipaldi. Um, I can't remember exactly. I think we're somewhere close to Jack Sprague, so that's good. So yeah, hopefully we gain points on just about everybody we need. Oh man, even the Pepsi 400 doesn't even really pay all that well. So 37,000 for finishing 31st kind of sucks. But alrighty, well, uh, let's look at the garage. Two races left there. One race left there. That's big. We're only down to 57 inch in power, so that's uh, that's good to go. Um, 58 down for us. Very nice. So we should still be pretty good for Chicago Land. But uh, yeah, let's take a look at these points because this is definitely the most points have ever mattered for us. So um, there you go, 36th. And now Johnny Benson's on the on the cut line here for us. So. 14.21, and we have got 11.05. So as long as we just keep on knocking out close to top 30s, man, hopefully we can run better. I think we go to New Hampshire after Chicago. Uh, Indianapolis is in there. Watkins Glen isn't too terribly far away. So, oh, man, imagine if we somehow finished. Well, honestly, if we have the components, we could probably finish top 10 at Watkins Glen. Not even kidding. So if we could have another one of those races to get us back, um, you know, looking good money-wise. That would be huge. But yeah, that'll do it. So, um, not too bad. We didn't lose money, but uh, we didn't gain a whole lot of it. So, uh, we go into Chicago land where uh, I definitely think we'll have a, we'll be more competitive than Daytona. So, uh, hopefully we can qualify well. And hopefully the biggest, most important thing is we can finish well. So, once again, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like on it if you did. It helps me out a ton. On to Chicago land. See you there.